ocean of stars who first gazed up at it, dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future, how vast the universe must have seemed to them, unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. But if only those dreamers knew what I know now, that humankind harbors a voracious hunger, one not even the limitless cosmos can sate. Another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Yes, I suppose it has. Would you care for more coffee, Ray? Sure. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ray. Er, uh, Captain. Seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. Your sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. Human's intuition is a mystery to me. Hey. Danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> For real, though, you've got to relax. Look how quiet it is out there. Huh? See? This is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. Scanning craft. Verified. Pangalactic Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so far outside of Fed space? Uh, I think they're aiming at us. Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. Shields holding at 78%. What? Why are Patch they Patch a doing signal this? blue. Tell them we're not hostile, damn it. No response. Second strike incoming. Schematics on screen. Find us a way out of here now. No good. Cannons fired at our projected course. Make it stop! Shields down to 12%. Weapons activity detected. Readying third strike. Still no response from the Astoria. It seems they have no intention of letting us go. Ray, they've ceased fire. Your orders. Abandon ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait, we must consider the cargo. Is evacuating the correct course of action? These are beds we're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now, we're goddamn space dust. This job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders, evacuate immediately. Got a loose end to tie up. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Come on. Open, you stupid... Power has been cut from this section of the ship. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have one minute. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. No! Hey! Stop! What do you think you're doing? Elena! Elena! The 
crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. No! Computer. Number and location of all ejected pods. According to the latest records, nine of the 49 escape pods have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. This ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. must have seemed to them, unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. Setting course, fourth planet of the Aster star system, warp 2.1, estimated arrival, five days. An underdeveloped planet? I can't take this! But humanity is insatiable. It is that hunger, that bottomless greed that drives them, and they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be Chloe. Open up a channel. Ray? Oh, thank goodness. Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... she's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own hides, huh? We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray. Relax. People back home probably just got our Mayday call. They're coming. So until they get here, just think of this as an adventure, okay? Entering orbit around the fourth planet in the Aster star system. If only those dreamers knew what I know now. That you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back. Arriving on Aster 4. Planetary surface found to be sufficient for all life forms aboard craft. Initiating emergency protocol. Distress signal activated. All right. Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are SOL. Oh, my legs are freaking killing me. Could do with a stretch. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so. Useless now. Right. Computer, give me all known locations of Vetus crew members. Unable to locate escape crafts jettisoned from the Edis. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pod? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. The onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, get an emergency signal through to my brother, Antonio Lawrence. And be quick about it. Attempting to contact Antonio Lawrence, captain of the merchant vessel Aldous. You 
there! Take this! Whoa! Whoa! Lady! You've a death wish. Two arms! No idea what's going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Aight! Let's rumble! Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you... Silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming. Long range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond, it's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray, come in! I knew you weren't alone. <clears throat> Show yourself! Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence! Step into the light! Hey, asshole, harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet's scorched earth. You hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess! If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on. Do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How dare you! As you wish. We shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. What the feds don't know can't hurt them. Antonio? It's me, Raymond. Oh, Ray! Are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidis. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere too. But I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio. Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land. On one condition. You answer my question. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! Al Baird. Your comrades. Have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of it. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Huh? Can it be? 
Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edis. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not a town, no. Astonishing. Only the Madoom ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while halt. longer. Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of... Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? As you wish. Awesome. Hey, Antonio. We'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. Oh. <laughs> you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ray? Awesome. Okay, let's move. We are approaching the Madoom Ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should... since I've swung the sword around, but... I I still got it. My muscles are gonna be pissed at me tomorrow. So the forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky to have met some people out here.
here we go. Trust this to me. About time for a rest. This will prove most useful. They lead to the entrance of the ruins. Got it. Let's go. Fly. Cut the ribbons. I must. How to now? Leave it to me. There is much to get left. Well, that's over with. Stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. Then perhaps we should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? Sweet! Visibility is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your foot. I'm good. So long as whatever we just saw doesn't show us up in the season. How old's dominion over this area? Rarely should it appear at all. Well, that is comfort. No more than you deserve. Follow my lead. Two have some killer moves. Pretty used to fight monsters too, by the look of it. Is that how it is for everyone who lives here? Yes. No, more or less. Uh, whoa. Yeah. So, this is Medum, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful, a stone and sun romancer called these hollow halls home. I live in the old west. Okay, we can get all of that, but I'll save the Q&A for later. For now, 
Let's focus on getting in and getting out. How exquisite! It is much safer not to stray from the path. About time for a rest. The enemy is before us! I'm no expert on the regional history, but folks here don't seem too friendly. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. It is said that much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. Distance is too great for us to vault across. It seems we must find a detour around to enter the room proper. Cut them to ribbons! There is much I've yet to learn. Rep for engagement will be ours. will prove most useful. Enemies up ahead. Please. Well aware. <laughs> Cut down the ribbons. Leave it to me. Signal above current position. No passenger signal identified. Device is probably just busted. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside. There is no time. Please, please, please be okay. <sighs> gotta be kidding me. What is it? Elena... Why? Ray... 
Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in the damn escape pod? <laughs> Some captain I am. Uh, Ray! Duma production model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. Whoa, hey, what the heck's this supposed to be? Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Highness, are you all right? I believe so. But what? What yeah, is this? Later. Right now, we. We've got company. For real? The hell is this? <sighs> I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Hey, uh, Duma, 
was it? So, uh, what's your deal? Oh, so now you decide to give us the silent treatment. Why, it is just marvelous. Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology? Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once, for learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. And this is Albert Bergholm, my royal retainer. Oh, shoot. I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. Oh, you think us liars? Uh, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. Ugh, morning already? Well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new. Some... This Larset place, anywhere near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Uh, you do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. That true? Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. different on the return trip. Are you certain we are going in the correct direction? There is no need for concern. This is the way, I assure you. Nothing but dilapidated ruins of landmarks. Seasoned adventurers might get lost. <laughs> <laughs> 
side of the ruins. I bet Juma could probably just zip around a building like this. Insufficient output. Black decomized. Initiate emergency protocol. Prepare them to ribbit. Leave it 
leave it to me. This will prove most useful. Prepare yourselves for battle. Remain close, Highness. Go out of my way! It falls no to me! Detected. We are nearing the exit of the ruins. We must pass southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. Ah, that's so. Well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off then. Neutralized. <laughs> Destroy. Threat insufficient output. Destroy. Threat neutralized. It was cool to try. This will not be the last. About time for a rest. We must pass through the forest to reach Larset village. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. We have Kick Threat neutralized. For engagement. Huh. It uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Antonio, do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait. She did the ejecting? Then... Wait, I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for. Right? Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't... They're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. 
He already has over the fact that you called me for help, and not him. <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> uh, hey, Ray. Before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. Hey, uh, uh, my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh hello? Yes? Ah, uh, 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 yesterday I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Osarius. And with me is. Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Osarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah. You just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you. But I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. Come on. Let's make our way to that village. Right. Uh, Larset Village is to the south. Squatting here with all these trees. Hey, are we going the right way? We are. Stay on this course. The forest is teeming with danger. Remain vigilant. Let me neutralize. Destroy. Let me Another day. Detected ahead. Hours. Destroy. Threat neutralized. Destroy. Wait! 
we continue on our southward course, we should depart the forest. Excellent. The village is just beyond it then? Unfortunately not. It will take us some time to pass through the Larkus region. We are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. <laughs> Agreed. This is the ideal terrain for walking. The village of Larset lies to our west. West. Might be done. Oh, not bad. I second the ladder. Come, let us be about it. Warning. Thank you. Level threat. Neutralize. Assault. Cut them to ribbons! Destroy! Fly! It's coming! Let's feel the loss. Enemies, dead ahead! Will be ours! Cut them to ribbons! Our set village is not far now. Last. You must be exhausted. Shall we retire? Don't you think we should hide that thing? Kind of makes us stand out. I do not think it an issue, as it closely resembles a Semiomancer's orb, such as the one over there. A Semiomancer's orb, huh? All right then. Besides, I would like to prioritize our lodgings. A nice rest will do us all some good. Target sighted. Target sighted.
This will prove most useful. Target sighted. Pardon me. This will prove most useful. Can't wait to see how much better I do. We have arrived. This will prove most useful. Good day. That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Uh, which star do you call home? Whoa now. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know, Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yidis, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. Roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow? Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Medum Ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but, uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. 
The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished Semiomancers in all of Osarius. really want to run around looking for a semiomancer. At the same time, I don't know anything about this planet, so I'm not gonna find Chloe on my own. What do you think? Yeah, finally get to a bed and I can't even sleep. Yeah, maybe a walk will tire me out. Is something wrong? Trouble sleeping? Yeah, yeah, a little. I've been taking walks till I get tired. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then. Had a girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around, and Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turned anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom. And Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I, then, ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Excellent. Now, with that off my chest, I do believe I shall return and rest. You would do well to do the same. You got it. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. Alrighty, let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? Sounds good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. Alright, I think I'm finally getting tired. Guess I will head back. Sweet! Target sighted. General awareness confirmed. Anyone home?
been a while since I got a good night's rest. <sighs> Morning. Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So, thanks, Leticia, Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh, where exactly are we headed? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delric, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, we can take stock of our situation. Oh, right, right, sorry. This is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked. We shall come again. Come on, you two. Let us be on our way. Is Delric Village far from here? It is. The Delvia region ahead is vast. I would wager even a seasoned traveler would consider it quite a distance. Ray, you're not quite good at hiding another mode of transportation, are you? We have Duma with us, do we not? Now then, our destination lies to the south. Assault. Threat neutralized. We make for the region of Delvir. Mm, southbound from our current position, I believe. Roger that. Oh, very excited. There is much I have yet to learn. Accelerate. Threat neutralized. Insufficient output. Warning. Energy levels low. Destroy. You seem to be getting used to using a sword, Ray. At first, your movements were rather unrefined, to say the least. I you think so. I guess I can't really tell if I am refined or not. You may merely continue practicing. I shall be relying on your skill. Well, I shall do what I can.
Very well, I shall tell you. Continue your current southern course. Okay, kind of spooky. How did you know I was going to ask you for directions? I merely read the look of confusion written upon your face. Follow my lead. Initiate emergency protocols. Not to be a pain, but are we almost to the Delvir region? Prepare for battle! I hear ya! than experience. All is grist to the mill. Seems we have finally crossed into Delvir territory. Ooh, quite so sure do. Let's keep on keeping on, I guess. Delric Village lies to the southwest. First, however, we must connect.
give it to me! Chance of survival dropping. Another day. Your Highness! Hey, mind your foot. Your predisposition towards recklessness the moment I turn away. I must be vigilant. Do not speak me like a child, Scared. <laughs> Neutralize toxins immediately. <laughs> Cut them to ribbons. Fly! Danger. I will not fall. Not with my promise left unfulfilled. This will prove most useful. Levels low.
Initiate yeah. emergency protocol. Out of my way! Yeah. Cut them to the ribbon! Seems we have finally crossed into Delvir territory. Ooh, that took quite some time. Sure did. Let's keep on keeping on, I guess. Delric Village lies to the southwest. First, however, we must continue farther south. Cut them to ribbons! It is because of your predisposition towards recklessness the moment I turn away. I must be vigilant. Do not treat me like a child, Albert. We, have... we should be going south from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, my bad. You would do well not to become a hindrance. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on. 
left. Incoming! This is up to me. Fine! Well, that's over with. Oh, hey! Is that Delric Village over there? about bustling. Well, Delric is the largest and most productive mining town in the kingdom. Don't expect us to go looking for you if you get lost. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's our next move? First thing tomorrow morning, we go pay a visit. I am. Okay, see you around. Oops, sorry about that. It's quite all right. You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. Never seen you here before. But if you're feeling under the weather, don't hesitate to drop by the infirmary. The Iatromancer there is one of the best in the business, so you'll be in good hands. Alright, gotta run. That was strange. <laughs>